Right, good day to all my wonderful online viewers. Just to remind you, if this is your first time of watching this YouTube channel and you have not subscribed, it won't cost you money. Just press the subscribe button, strike the bell also for notification of other videos and other videos when they come on board, you'll be able to see them. Thank you for viewing. Look at this question here. See is an organic liquid compound and D is an inorganic sample. So our student carry out the following text. Number one, take C which is an organic liquid compound divided into three portions and test with litmus paper that is the first question please follow all the questions so that you can also follow the answers let's go to the second slide now 1b to the first portion add acidified k2cr2o7 and warm it see the full page here 1C. To the second portion, add concentrated H2SO4 and also warm it. Now let's see the third slide. Look at it here. To the third portion, add small portion of D plus 10% sodium hydroxide plus heat now the second part that is D sample D you will divide sample D into two portions put the first sample in a test tube and heat it strongly now put the second portion of sample D in a test tube add H2SO4 heat it the mixture of sample D and H2SO4 and heat add dilute HNO3 followed by AgNO3 and finally add ammonia solution to it now this is about four or five step questions let's look at the solution now when you take your test your observation and your inference view it this way c plus litmus paper no change in color or no color change the inference will be the compound has no effect on litmus. 1b. The first portion of C plus acidified K2Cr2O7. You will perceive a rust smell food. And also the yellow color of K2Cr2. O7 will change to green. Now K2CR2O7 has two colors. I put only one color here, that is this yellow. It also has orange. It's either yellow or orange. But whatever color you put here, either yellow or orange, the color will change to green. Showing to you that what you are adding K2CR2O7 to is a reducing agent so that's why I say C is a reducing agent now the inference will be an alkanone because K2CR2O7 is an oxidizing agent an alkanone is produced which is formed from a secondary alkanone obviously Akanone are only produced from secondary akan, that is 
the oxidation of secondary arcanol will produce arcanone. Please take good note of that. Now, second portion of C plus H2SO4, you will perceive a petroleum like smell. That is, an arcane is produced from arcanol. That is the inference. Then, still under the inference, we can say dehydration of arcanol to produce arcane. Now, look at this. To the third portion of C, add little quantity of D. If you add little quantity of D, there will be no feasible reaction. Now add ammonia, add sorry, add sodium hydroxide and heat it. You will see a yellow precipitate, which will indicate I minus is present. Iodine ion is present. Now take sample D. Heat it strongly. The observation will be sublimation of violent fume. The violent film has irritating smell. You see that you write violent or purple, but don't write it too. Write either violent or purple. It turns moist litmus, moist blue litmus paper. You see that you use the word moist or damp blue litmus paper. It turns it red and thereafter it will bleach it. That shows that iodine is present. I minus is present from I2. Take note of that. Now, take D again plus H2SO4. You see a violent few plus HNO3. You will see no visible reaction. But as soon as you add AgNO3, the reaction will turn yellow. Yellow precipitate will be seen. Now, plus NH3, the yellow precipitate persists, that is, it's not soluble in NH3. You have I minus from I2 present. That confirms when it is insoluble, when the yellow precipitate is insoluble, in essence, Ammonia, it confirms the presence of I minus. This video will be very important to you. So please watch it again. Thank you.